All right. Zero zero. Ten numbers to strike. Are they doing hand warmers? Are they? It looks like they're going right in here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so they got Fox versus Falco. Yep. Uh, very common matchup. Yeah. Got, um, so Tenda is a resident. A very solid Fox. Um, plays with Patrick a lot. Yeah. Uh, so he's very used to this matchup. Uh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, Strike's got uh, somewhat of a different style than Patrick, though, I think. Yeah. Strike is uh, known for being one of the best Smash 4 players in uh, Manitoba, in the yeah, he's lost, so. But he's also making a name for himself in Manitoba. Yeah. Uh, very tactical, actually. He plays Fox and Falco. Nice speed down air. Let's get hit by the fire. Yeah, that was actually very, very well timed and spaced yeah. by Strike there. Yeah, for sure. So these guys are both really solid players. Um, they could definitely both make it really far in the bracket. Yeah, this, this match. So now it's, uh, this is best of five as well. Right, yeah. So I'm curious to see if we're going to see a, a character switch from Strike at all in the coming matches. Uh, it's possible. I, I heard him talking earlier and he said he was going with Fox, so I'm actually a bit surprised to see this. Oh, you know, don't make it Maybe he doesn't like the Fox at all. It's very possible. A lot of, uh, a lot of Foxes don't want to be a big fan of the Ditto. Right. And uh, he's doing pretty well here. Yeah. Oh, a full psych in the way. here. Tenda doing a really good job of putting on the pressure there. Yeah, he gets hit by the, the weird shine. It's uh, super high. So, uh, Strike seems to be winning most of the exchanges here. We do have uh, nine. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Just have to get clipped. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Tenda just getting. Like, getting hit by uh, most of his openings. He's got a. So, especially when Falco is. Uh, <laughs> for a little bit there. But, okay, uh, Fox has like, really good movement, um, which some Foxes find a little hard to use under laser pressure uh, if they don't know how to deal with lasers. But if you notice Falco is going in a lot, uh, Fox can do a really good job of just dash dancing grab because Falco doesn't have that much uh, horizontal movement, right? So, if he's aerialing, you can usually dash dance and punish him with something, right? So I think uh just gotta be patient and just try to dash dance grab uh, all his approaches. Or if uh, if he's really not lasering, he can try to hit him before those approaches, just because Fox has that extra speed, right? He can usually hit Falco before he even throws out an aerial or something. Yeah, there's definitely um, different approaches to this matchup. Um, kind of depends on you know how your opponent is playing and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Strike seems to be generally playing fairly aggressively. He's not really using lasers to camp or anything. He's just kind of going in a lot, and right. Tenda seems right. to be struggling with keeping him out. Yeah. So perhaps, you know, some, some of those... Ooh. Yeah, for sure. He is definitely playing aggressive. I haven't seen many lasers from, uh, from Strike. No. But uh, Tenda actually doing a really good job of keeping up pressure this game. We saw, like, right at the start. Really good job of it. He's gotta be a little quicker on those grabs. Yeah, you can see he's really stuck in shield and kinda the panicking on his own shield. Not too bad, you know, it's not like doing really bad options, but you saw him grab when it wasn't there. So hopefully he uh Shielding can be really good in this matchup, but you gotta make sure you act out of it correctly and you act quick. Yeah, it's definitely a big uh, factor against Falco is your outer shield game. Uh, definitely really important. Shine outer shield, very good in this matchup. Yeah, for sure. Um, if you don't have that, it can be definitely pretty difficult to uh, deal with Falco's pressure. Exactly. Um, but again, you know, a Falco, a Falco with good pressure is also just very hard to deal with. Yeah. Even if you have good auto game, nice wave dash back. Yeah. Right there. Really not nice able space. to get not able to get much off of it though. Uh, just to, just to throw. I like that follow up with Shine there, it's really nice. Oh, yeah. Side B again. Oh, yeah. Tenda, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Unfortunate. Miss the angle there too. Yeah. This game is looking very similar to the first game. 
Yeah, it's all up. Uh, him strike is getting a little bit stronger punishes. And uh, I think he's edge guarding a bit better. This is uh, this is yeah. best of five now. Stage. And okay, he's trying to try to swag out a little bit there. Hopefully, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't uh, get punished for it. But and he's got no jump, and that, that should be it. Yeah. Wow. On Ed Shine? No. Yeah. 
pit is definitely a good one because you're at high percent and the other person is not. It's definitely a good one. And Max. Uh, Sets really turned around and pet his favor now. Yeah, it's looking like we're about to go to game five. Yep. Potential reverse Rio, but that's a really good one so far for sure. Oh, oh. Uh, I, think, I think that was zero dead. It's game four. Four. Yeah. So hopefully, uh. <laughs> Waited, nice clean back air. Tenda's putting up a lot more pressure. I'm just he, uh, he was getting smothered the first few games. And now he's smothering him. Yeah, so he's kind of. It was, it was Tenda getting smothered at first, so now Tenda's smothering him. Dream land we go. So, uh, let's see if Strike can kind of adapt to uh, Tenda's more aggressive playstyle. Uh, last two games. Yeah, he looks like he's um, shooting more lasers already. He's, we're seeing him going into the corner and shooting lasers in order to sort of get Tenda to come to him. Yeah. Although we see him approach there. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, definitely more lasers. A little bit safer play. Yeah. And there's sometimes when there's a strategy where you're not entirely sure what to do, and in that case it's good to just like try something else, right? Even if, like, yeah. Obviously it's good to know what options to be, what options, but if you're not playing it's a play style you're not that familiar with, you know, trying something new is uh, you're getting a nice call out. Yeah, yeah that was... Uh, not a great side beat from uh, Tenda, but I don't, I don't think he expected him to be ready there. I think he was just expecting him to get ready or to get hit. Yeah, that was definitely the, like, the first time we saw uh, Strike go for any kind of call out like that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've definitely seen a lot more uh, lasers from uh, Strike and his location. Kind of trying to a few of his approaches. Strike's gotta land a huge bigger punch. Like, he's doing a really good job, but he could get bigger punch, especially on the box. Yeah, for sure. Um, at the high level, it's not uncommon to see, you know, like 80% off of a shine. Um, like from, uh, as Fox. Sorry, as Valpo against Fox. Yeah. I think these guys both are punishing a little bit stronger. Um, not nice that the are bad, I think it's just a little bit of nerves, you know, game five. They both want to do really well. And yeah. So, oh. Alright. He can live that. He's yeah. got him off the stage. Oh, oh attack! A nice back end. Back air. Very nice. Like if he went for an instant side beat instead of an uppy there, he could have um, just grabbed the ledge. Yeah, um, I think you're right. But, yeah, nice by Tenda to capitalize on that. Good shine there, that would be really good for Tenda. Maybe not. But, uh... Yeah, well, we got a pretty close game now. This is, I think the first, like, really uh, close game we've seen the first two games would be... Yeah. Strike, next two or three minutes of Tenda. Nice to see a close game five. Yeah, always. Yeah. I'm liking those uses of full hops, but uh, Strike calls it out and just gets on stage. That's actually super nice that he got on stage there. Yeah, definitely. If he was um, even just like a frame or two earlier with that laser, he definitely could have ended up off stage. Yeah. Um, below stage fireboxing, which is a pretty uh, bad position for Fox. That, uh, wow. That's one of those weird properties there, where it playing instead of hitting. Go for a back throw, that might be an accident. I think he was probably going for that throw. Oh, that was a... Uh, you gotta make sure you space Oh! Oh, doesn't that... Oh, he could have... Oh, man. We've definitely seen some nerves here for both of them. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that was, a, that was a, not a great ledge for crash, but... Tender, I was like... Okay. Don't, don't go over there, man. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how long Tenda can hold on to his stock here for. Yeah. It's gonna be huge. Yeah, he gets a grab. A little bit late on the up here. Yeah. Reacting to uh, Tekken place on platform is really difficult. Sometimes you just go for an up air just to cover it, even if, uh, even if it means you miss the other things. Because a lot of people say to either miss the tech or Tekken place. But now we're at last stock. Strike versus Tenda. This is crazy. Oh, that's huge. That's Oh, nice start to a punch. It doesn't keep it going. Oh my goodness. Strike playing really safe now, lasering a bunch. 
up a 10 up another pressure now. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh he All right. He gets out. Oh my goodness. Oh, he can't excite me. Don't do that. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, we got a lot of full hunts going on now. They're both oh, trying man. to play really safe. A lot of shields. Oh, All man. right. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, there's some guy missed base oh, back goodness. here. Oh, the down smash. Oh, get back, get back. Oh, he doesn't check it. And no tech from Strike Penda. takes it. 3-2. Good job. What a crazy set.